talent like Susan Boyle. And to see me again, or my natural born Twitter's follow MYS. Whoops, that was my old uh that was my old Twitter right there. I messed up there, innit? What's going on? What's going on, mother lovers? Yeah. Back again for another. Something you might not never know nothing about. That's right. We said it. Shit you might not never know nothing about. Shout to Rup Shiano P. Shout to Yama. Did I get that? I did I did that. I've been practicing, you know. Yama. Shout outs to Oli Allen. Yes, yes. What's going on, bruv? We are in the building right now. Myself, my Diggy, alongside my co-host, Dan DNA. What's going on? Yeah. All right. We've got this camera going. Yeah, that's on. That's we're, on now. We're working yeah, with yeah. the camera juggling still. Yeah. Let me just turn this background yeah. video off. Hold Good on. to see everyone. What's going on, Black Einstein? Evening all. Yeah. <laughs> Football tonight, in it? So I think there's probably... It's going to be... We're going to be missing a few. A few people will be halfway, halfway in the room... Halfway in the chat oh, time, mate. Yeah, well, you know, this is the special. I'm not really into football that much, bruh. Episode. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's what this is, boy. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, you know, football for me, it's just not that exciting. It's uh, sometimes it is when you with the whole atmosphere thing and people and but it's just now it's just turned into this. It's weird, man. That, the, the conversation people have when they're talking about football, I'm like, right, bro, I don't know what. Like, I'm lost. This yeah. is turning into a, a what do you know match. Like, what oh, do you yeah, remember? Yeah, yeah. What stats do you have? Yeah, when you get the stats, in? guys. Yeah, yeah boy, get, that yeah. stats thing, that kills me, brother. I'm like, bro, you know, like, yeah, so in 1944, what did you like? Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's, yeah. The, that's yeah. the conversation killer. The Ooh. stat guy is the one who... Once he opens up, that's everyone else don't know what to say. Well, I mean, what that else you say? Goes in just, like, just bare numbers. Brr, brr, oh. like, the more the more beers that go down, the more numbers come. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I was just, 15, I was just enjoying it for like the the sport, but you know, so, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I used to like it. I like you know, grew up Liverpool. That was like the family sort of team. You know, everyone supported Liverpool, mm. so. I was just full of our family team full was full of yeah. And then um I tell you what, man, my the time when I switched, when I was like, okay, I do like I was already kind of losing it a bit with the whole stats thing. It's, what I felt like is I don't know how them players are feeling while they, before they're going out on the pitch. Mm. I don't know what they've been through in training and this, that, and the third. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So I, who am I to be arguing with someone about if this happens, that you know, we're going to do this and what. It's like, it just didn't make any sense to me. But then, like, imagine, I think I was studying and I was working at Sainsbury's, yeah? I'm at Sainsbury's. I'm already pissed off that I'm working at Sainsbury's. And it's lunchtime and that. You know what I mean? Lunchtime, I'm there probably eating, like, Jackie Potato, cheese of beans or some. You know what I mean? This is not really enjoying life right now. Mm. Thinking, yeah, I can't wait till I can... Yeah, you know I mean, you know? these two, uh, these two guys dressed in the attire as well, in like, right, brother, you work like on the shop floor, stacking shelves and shit. Like, they're looking like that. They're talking about a derby between, um, what was it, Tottenham and Arsenal. And and this this talk becomes quite, you know what I mean? It starts getting a bit erratic and a bit loud, and mm. to the point where these two stand up now. So I got my, you know what I mean? Jacket potato, beans, cheese. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm there eating that. And then I'm looking at these two, like looking like they're squaring off over who would win. I was like, bruv, I'm done. Like, I, I'm not into football. Yeah. That was it. That just cut me off. It's, it's meant that to replace the, the... I tapped out. <laughs> I tapped out. I was like, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah you just I'm like, done. no, I think I'll just go for music. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah this it, is crazy, it's bro. meant to replace the the sort of the uh instinct to it's it's a it's a displacement um activity for like people's aggression so whereas in the past we would have been you know 
gladiators on two different sides literally and you know and there's something enjoy enjoy enjoyable about it for men is this thing of being on two different sides as yeah, kids yeah, yeah. you spend all your time Opposition. on two different sides don't yeah, you you're just yeah. like training to for that time when you're going to need to be on two different yeah, sides yeah, you've got to beat them man and football's man, that lose that these, displacement man. you know that's that that's that that's the activity for people that's like we can do this safely we don't have to actually hurt each other. We can let other people do it for us. Yeah, you know they, they're the gladiators in the in, in the, the Colosseum, and yeah. when they when they finally put that uh, you know kick that projectile into that open womb, I mean Ball. net, and then we all oh, <laughs> all at the same time. So there's so there's all these displacement activities That's going on with football, yeah. but when it spills over into actual violence, I always just thought it was a bit like, come on, like, yeah, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. You do not see that this is just a game. You, you have to actually get you know you, you're not happy enough to have a team. You've actually got to go and fight each other. Yeah, but you know what I mean? It, it, it's but you're right. It's the tribalism, the camaraderie, the you know. The feeling like you're part of something really special and so special that you'll fight for this. Mm. You'll fight for this. You know what I mean? Mm. Like you're wearing, you got the tattoos, mm. you got the t-shirts, shorts. Like you go bed in them shorts. You know what I mean? You probably shower in this. <laughs> <laughs> now I know people that are like they are football fanatics, mm. like ridiculous. And obviously throughout this whole thing, <clears throat> you know, with the Euro going on. People have been heavily distracted from anything. That's the other thing, you yeah, know. Yeah, 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 like you're saying, yeah. the, they're in the Colosseum, doing what they're doing, you know. Bread and, and circus, it's dramatic yeah. as well. It's dramatic. Like I've got people that talk about, yeah, they don't, they don't, they watch it, but they don't really like listening to what's going, what they're saying because there's a load of talk going through the match. That's just like, right, you're trying to turn this into like a mm. uh, East Enders episode mm. with all the bullshit you're spewing. You know what I mean? Which is is irrelevant to the actual match, but they're just trying to fill the gaps, obviously, innit? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Chris Lahat, what's going on, bruv? Phil Trainer. Yes. Alexander Morrison, what's going on? It's good to see people in the building. Whether you got well, you lot blazing out there. Is you lot blazing out there, by the way? I haven't asked that for a while, man. It's, it's always interesting to know what's popping. What's That will that will that will come up in a story later on. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <for laughs> um, but yeah, uh, have you got any uh, adverts? Uh, to get the house cleaning out of the way. House first. cleaning. Oh, house oh, cleaning. Yeah. So we got um, coming uh, up. Wait, it looks uh, like it's coming up. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's one thing we're hearing that we're going to be free. Isn't that right? Yeah. July the nineteenth. Yeah. But it's all about the 8th of August. Mm. <laughs> Which of is... Uh... No, of course. Like, yeah. 8th of August. We're going to be down at Metro Fest in Trent Park, mother lovers. You see it right there? Oh, look at that lineup, man. Look at that lineup. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you. <laughs> I, I don't want to get too excited, but I can't help it because I haven't been on stage for a minute. I got to start practicing anyway. You know what I mean? Get that lockdown rust. Get that <laughs> lockdown. <laughs> There's bad lockdown rust going on. Trust <laughs> people. People forgetting their rhymes, losing the beat a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> you don't know, man. But yeah, look at this Metro Fest, August the eighth, Trent Park. That's not too far if you're in London. That's in North London, yeah. Live and direct. You got Fat Joe. Blackstreet, Eve, Maya, Bobby V, John B, what? Tony Touch, Fat Man Scoop, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> and Flavor of the Month crew. Shout out to my brother 279. Um, we got Tony Touch, Skinny Man, myself live. You got the hip hop karaoke crew, So Fresh and So Clean crew, DJ Business, Uncle Juju. Jeez, come on, man. The tickets are on sale now. Um, I do believe they're going fast as well from the looks of it, man. Yeah? So, yeah, 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 yeah. People are on it, man. People want to get out there. You know what I mean? So it's going to be interesting to see how who's, out there uh, they want to get. Who's organising it, Metro Fest? Um, I'm not sure, you know, to be honest. Give them a shout. Uh, let me find out. 
Let's get him on. Yeah, for real. But um, well, for my on my part, it's two seven nine. He's putting together the flavor of the month stage. Oh, okay. So um, yeah, we'll definitely give him a shout so um, we can have a chat with him closer to the time. Do you know what I mean? I gotta get some more of my friends on here for real. And then uh, born. Oh uh, yeah, and then born Lippy. Where's Where that? Hold on. Born uh, there you go. It doesn't fit on the screen properly, but that's alright. Born Lippy. Oh, wait there. Let me find that now. Which is, uh, that's Friday the 3rd of September, 12.30. Uh, 12.30 to, that don't say to 6.30, does it? No. Nah. So, Till 6.30. The Dingle Bell stage, a celebration of all things wordy. Yeah, 12.30 to 6.30. Dingle Bell stage. Is that Dingle Bell or Dingle Dell? Dingle Dell, Dingle Dell, Dingle Do the way. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you have to say it, I guess. Um, you got myself there. You got Stanley, Odd, Imogen Sterling, Jackal, Trades, Joe Dark, Neanderthal Bard, Rowan McCabe, Lex T, Pappy, Nicola Mandalio. I said that right. Tamina mm. Ali, Ellen Moran, Amy Wardley, Tom C, hosted by Donald Jenkins. And that's at Lynn's Farm Festival, Bill Farm, Berwick. We're going to be on a farm, bruv, so I know I'm going to be safe. Do you know what I mean? There'll be mm. cows over there. If you need some milk, cows over there, you know what I mean? Mm. Be, I'm sure they'll be growing a bunch of stuff there. Ooh-wee! Yeah, and that's going to be a poetry event, man. So it's going to be, um, as it says, all things worthy, a celebration of that. If anyone can come through, you know what I mean? Uh, so it's something like it's uh, 50 miles from Newcastle or something like that, I think. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'll be out Berwick. There. Berwick. Lind- Lindis- it says Lindis Farn Festival, mm. Bill Farm, Berwick. So I think Berwick is like one of the last towns on the border of Scotland. Mm. Ah. Lindis Farn's a little island off the side of uh, Newcastle or somewhere like that. Mm. Where there's an old church. Uh, yeah, like an old Saxon nice church or something. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, so nice you should be able to get your more down there. Hey, your more. For real, man. If you can make it, you know what I mean? You're more than welcome. You're, mo- <laughs> you're more than welcome. Who's that? Yeah. <laughs> you're more. Yeah, something like that. I don't, I don't know if I say it right or not. Was that I'm trying, purpose? though. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, man, shout out to Chris, innit? It's good to see gigs coming for real, boy. Like, jeez, bruv. It's so weird, man. Not getting, mm. you know, I'm, I haven't been used to that for a long time. Like, I can't think of the last time I hadn't performed within, say, like, even four months or something like that. And then for it to just, like... Dry up. Dr- and just turn into this desert, this dust... Yeah, you know, and you're that thirsty, like even your tongue is just dry. your hole's probably covered over. Boy. Probably got a hymen, a new <laughs> get out there and pop your Yo, cherry again. <laughs> it? I've probably got to do that, boy. Jesus, <laughs> yeah, it's weird, man. And but I didn't really think it would feel like that, but it has got to the point where I'm just eager to even just be out in a crowd in you know with music playing, you know, what I mean, just be. Mm. It's weird, man. Something like that. You just ah, even just standing outside chatting to people. Mm. You know, all them sort of things, you miss it. Security acting weird. <laughs> you know, like, why are you looking at me like that? I'm like I'm shot. I ain't not shutting nothing, man. Just you know. I'm just here. It is it's gonna be a it's gonna be a weird start for the whole thing for everybody, I think. To get back. Yeah, just a bit you know, I don't think people are going to ease back. It's been a long time. It's been 17 months. Or something. People, you know that now <laughs> when people sneeze, the, huh? yeah. <laughs> now, every, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit go yeah. quiet. Turn yeah. around like, yo, you cool? You yeah. right, yeah? <laughs> people suppressing their cough. <laughs> yeah, trying to smoke weed, weird. but not cough. Yeah. Yeah. You know, hopefully it, it, people kind of just realize that you know just chill just chill you know Mm. we're back to it we're back especially if england win that's Mm. it i think it's going to be england italy england if they win 
things are going to change over here now. <laughs> yeah. The distraction. <laughs> the distraction is going to be even way more louder, we, boy. We ride in a high. Of, yeah. It'll be like a... It's, uh, and you notice it's more and more... As, as each game goes on, um, like, first of all, the, the, the first rounds... George Cross is racist. You're not allowed to fly a flag. Flying a flag's racist. Oh, is yeah. it? Is that that's what that's, you know. That's what everyone's always been about. Oh, you get George Cross. Oh, sign of racism. Oh, yeah. oh. And then like they get through to like that. They get through that first round thing, and then suddenly you start seeing little George Crosses on cars and things like that, <laughs> just hanging out the sides of cars. And then they get through the the, the quarterfinals. Yeah, then you start seeing them hanging out of windows yeah, and stuff. People start wearing it. Bro, today I see no word of a lie. Yeah, I have no reason to lie. Today I see a black cab going by me. It went past, and there was a guy hanging out the back, <laughs> trying to make his like uh, his flag float. Flag fl oh, <laughs> bruv, it was so funny, man. I was like, right, what the hell is going on here? <laughs> like that. Look at that amount of passion that they have. Yeah, for something like yeah. that, for a bunch of people kicking the balls around. You know, just keeping yeah. the ball. I, I you see the ball. I expect when the final is done, if if they get through to the final and win, I expect to see like flagpoles erected all over the country with massive George crosses on them. It's gonna be all time. It's all right to fly the George Cross all of a sudden. Yeah, boy, there is. It's such a weird parallel as well. Like, you know, you're pissed off with how your country is, but then. They're cheering away for the team. <laughs> it's just like I don't know. Maybe I'm I'm weird or something, but I find that a bit strange as well. But don't get me wrong. I mean, if you watch it for the sport, and you know, like obviously there's a whole skill um, side to it that I'm sure people are into. But it's just the passion for that sort of you know that amount of passion for it. It's like, rap, these are all, they're angry with each other. Like, these lot don't even want to talk for a few weeks after this. <laughs> this meant to be a conversation. This shit turned into a duel. Like, ah, oh, on God, <laughs> thou say if thine <laughs> team is. It's like, what the hell, bruv? You not like, you like supporting teams, or you, you know what I mean? You're at war. What's going on here? Nah, uh, you know, I don't know. It's strange for me, man. It's strange. But then again, I do feel like these things come at a certain time. They come at the right time. They come in a form of a way that um, distracts you from what may really be going on in the world. Mm. And so uh, someone like me, I'll probably try and look at what is that they're trying to distract you from. Like last week, I feel like the whole thing with um, uh, Matt Wancock was um, that there was this big, massive... Um, thingy happening, protests happening. Like, I think that was the reason why it, it was like, hey, think about this. Mm. Uh, look at this embarrassing thing he did. And uh, look how he's magically dead in the middle of the shot and at an angle that you can see everything. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. That was... What a coincidence. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, all that. Uh, they took, uh, but then in the end, you just saw this big thing happening. Like, I don't know if you will show the footage in a bit. Like the protests that went on uh, in the West End, you know, Oxford Street, it was jam out, it was like carnival or whatever. What, did someone you know went? Yeah, I know a few people that went. Um, shout to Jay, Reagantology, he went there uh, and he, he said that it was crazy, like the amount of people there, it felt like carnival and it was good to see like... Um, a lot of like-minded people for once, you know what I mean? Mm. Like like I'm saying, even us starting this, because it felt like a lot of people felt secluded and, mm. and on their own in their way of thinking of what's going on around the world right now. Mm. And uh, it's like, you know, a lot of people need to think that, nah, you're not the only ones, man. There's a whole bunch of us that are mm. confused that probably, you know what I mean, have been um, shunned a little bit from our family or don't get to talk as much about what we used to because mm. we, we have a different way of thought, which is silly. Like, we shouldn't be like that. You know, you should be able to think what you do, like, believe in what you do. Uh, and I should the same. And we not really have a, a, a kind of conflict about it where we're not to where we, we don't even feel like we're family anymore or friends anymore. 
Cause that's I think that's taking it away. You know, it's the extreme thing. Like <laughs> that's the extra extreme. Mm. Yeah, I'm not talking to you anymore. Why? Because yeah. your team beat my team, and uh, I thought I was going to beat your team, but I got it wrong. So yeah. Mm. See, so Yamar, that's exactly what we were thinking. Maybe this whole thing right now is uh in aid of making us not realize about this bill. Um, so they're saying they just passed the police and sentencing bill this week. All while the media is going on about the footy. And so it's things like that, where it feels like, oh, it's quite a distraction. It's weird to even think, I don't know how they'd be able to do it, but to think that, you know, they're somehow fixing the games to you know, make these things happen. I, like, I don't know how that could, you know. It's, it's easy. Yeah, I mean, the refs, fix, I don't know. It's easy to fix sport. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't, I just think it's, well, how? It's like, okay, you think, okay, they fixed it in some way, but then how would they, how would the players, you know, are all the players involved? Like, yeah, it's just the, you have the, the officials. The officials and... kind of mess around with, I mean, yeah. oh, no, that was a foul. No, no, in that sort of way. I don't know, but yeah, it just makes you think like, rah. And and it becomes that dramatic that all I've been seeing are conversations, you know, on WhatsApp groups and that is conversations about football. About, yo, yo, bruv, so if we go, like, <laughs> if we go to the finals, should, should man them link up? <laughs> should man them link up? <laughs> yeah. Oh, and the bruv, if we go to the final, boy, I don't know, man. I might just have to, like, I might go pub, you know what I mean? And <laughs> I might just brave it to the pub, bruv, and just do it, you know what I mean? Like, I ain't did it yet, but, yeah, so, that, <laughs> I ain't did it for 16 months, bro. I ain't been to the pub, but I might, if we go to the final, like, boy, <laughs> I'll just douse myself in a... <laughs> in I'm sand, going out. I'll douse myself in hand sanitizer. <laughs> First of all, yeah. <laughs> Wear gloves. <laughs> put gloves on the feet before you put them in your socks shout to Mr. Green in the building why our favourite troublemaker <laughs> yeah I oh, saw so officials and goalies yeah I mean I don't know see yeah I guess like maybe if you've got one person in a team that you know that's a vital person like the goalie you know yeah Maybe in that way. But yeah, it's no way the whole... It's the same way like the world is working, you know, like... Think about the police. They think that they're doing their job. They think, yeah, we're doing what we're supposed to be doing. They don't realise that they're actually working for a, um, you know, a, 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 a company, a private um, corporation mm. that's actually, you know, making money doing all of this. Yeah. Uh, these penalties and... So it's crazy, man. Yeah, they. I mean, most of the police you talk to, they 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 just think they're enforcing. Yeah. You know how we do, bro. They think they're just enforcing um, actual laws, so they don't realise they're enforcing statutes. Yeah, they don't realise it's just legislation and acts. Um, whenever they use those sort of words, then it's not based on the true law. And then yeah. that's why a lot of people have been getting fined and whatnot, but not and nothing's been paid because it doesn't hold up um, when it comes to the reality. Yeah. So, yeah, you're getting a lot of this talk, man. A lot of um, people are quite worried about this bill. Um, you've seen it on a few websites. And it was, I think it's from March, isn't it? Pretty Patel. Um, she had pushed forward this bill and it was like something like 300 pages long and apparently what they've been doing is like um, you know they've been they've got a deadline when they're meant to push the bill through and the the um, votes are meant to be made and then what they'll do is just push it in like the day before mm. or something like that and then you know none of the MPs have got that amount of, that amount of time to read um 300 pages so they're just like oh yeah i'm sure it'll be all right yeah okay we'll, do, we'll yeah we'll vote for it we'll vote for it and so they get away with all that 
And yeah, so you got something like this. You know, people are very worried now because of this bill going through. Um, but it's a, it feels like a minority of people because everyone else is worried about whether they'll get into the finals or not. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? There's a big contrast in what people uh, really care about. <laughs> care about, it seems, when balls are involved. You know, ball, when you kick the ball, head the ball, get the ball into the goal. Yeah, man. Um, but the thing is, so here's what he's saying anyway. You can see on the screen. This is why we should be worried about this bill. Um, they're saying for creating a public nuisance, you can get 10 years in jail. This should, it really is, you, you can get up to 10 years in jail. So the maximum you can get. Vandalizing a statue, a statue, funny enough, it sounds like statute. I wonder why, is it because statues are not real? They're just replicas or something that's real, that's true. That's self-evident. You can get 10 years though for vandalizing something that's not real. Using a megaphone at Parliament, you can get up to a £5,000 fine. Residing in a protest camp, whatever that means. Oh, we know what that means. 2500 fine or three months in jail, yeah? Well, what was you in, were you in for, fam? Nah, man was like camping Squatting, at a protest. Basically. Yeah, man was camping at a protest. Like, man, <laughs> respect to the rebellion, you let me? Respect man's a rebellion. <laughs> road, man's road, road man protest respect man's rebellion yeah <laughs> man out here just trying to shut the thing like man's not I'm not causing trouble over there you hear me I don't want man, <laughs> man camp it out uh, and then you got one person protest mother lover we're going to give you 2,500 fine or one year in jail up to one year in jail all these, uh, you know, fine words, these are cool, but what do they really mean? Like, how much do they hold up? That's the question on everybody's lips, I would hope. <laughs> Probably not, though. Not as in you lot, I mean, as in general, will people see that? Because it is, it does look quite like, oh, wow, so you mean I can't, that means I better not create a public nuisance anymore. Oh, I better not mm. vandalize a statue. Uh, mm. uh, but it's probably some statues it's all right to take down still. You know. You're probably all right vandalizing certain statues, just not other statues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You probably couldn't vandalize the Nelson Mandela one in Parliament. Right yeah, outside then. Parliament, just to let you know who oh, owns Nelson Mandela. Mm. Let you know who owned him. You got one right outside Parliament. Mm. That's interesting, you know. See, they do these sort of things as well, just to, like, provoke. It feels like they do these sort of things to provoke some form of, like, oh, this is, you know, yeah, you could do that, but you can't do that as well. And, and it's sad when people, you know, fall for it. They fall for the bait. And it's quite obvious with something like that. They put Mandela at Houses of Parliament, and look what they said. Using a megaphone... At Parliament, like they've actually met, they brought this law in saying it's in case there's a lot of um, uh, what's the word? Uh, you know, there's too much traffic outside the Houses of Parliament and it's for, for access. That's what they've really been kind of basing it on and then blaming it on. Right. So these are just like, health and safety. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's so, you know, <laughs> But then saying, you know, blame it on things like noise, saying, oh, if you're a nuisance. If you're or causing any serious annoyance. Hmm. Uh, yeah, so it's all, you know, a lot of blah, 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 in a way. They've even stated that, you know, the law has already been there for a while in, under common law. Um, but, you know, they're just going to, yeah, we, we're hmm. just going to um, make it a statute now. And Yeah, the me megaphone thing can't be common law. The vandalizing a statue, I doubt that's common law. The creating yeah. a public nuisance, probably I could see that being, you know, but 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 why don't they just put you in the stocks like they used to for public nuisance? Just put you in the stocks, have it over and done with for people and throw rotten fruit. Because the thing is with stocks, 
is that it was based on like how many people thought that that was a crime or thought that that was a problem, you know. So say you'd um, got done for uh, being a public nuisance and only five people thought that was a bad thing, then you'd get fro fruit thrown at you by five people. But mm. if you'd like, you know, gone and shoplifted from a local greengrocer who everybody liked, of course everyone would show up and throw fruit at you. Shame. Yeah. Shame. But at least, Shame. but then it's over. You don't get a prison sentence after that. That's the end of it. It's over. Yeah. You've had it your fruit in. And think about that. How much did it cost? They nothing. Had, another reason they're bringing Pretty this much in? nothing. You bought yeah. your own fruit. You had rotten fruit at home anyway, or rotten vegetables. You, you wouldn't want to get turnipped, would you? <laughs> <laughs> and, and the thing is, they're, they're bringing it in. Another reason they're bringing it in is because of... Um, uh, they're saying, like, there, there aren't enough um, police at a lot of these events mm. now. And... Uh, so they they feel like they probably need more force, and um, also that the cost uh, for the public, you know, it's just mm. it's stuff where they're trying to make it out like, oh, because of you guys, you know, we need to make sure that this thing is safe, and mm. you know, we don't we don't need this thing spilling out all over into the streets everywhere and causing disruption. You know, they're talking about traffic and uh, how ambulances are, uh, have been stopped from trying to get to the emergency and stuff like that just to really pluck the, the strings and make you feel like oh man this is really bad yeah they're stop really protesting yeah, you lot it's, it's a really health and safety thing. issue yeah 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 yeah. exactly <laughs> they're turning it into a health and safety issue it's like bruh you ain't fooling us man the bottom line is man <laughs> Look, what if one of you falls over and we can't get an ambulance there and we're concerned about you it's yeah. about you not us yeah, 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 yeah and it's a way to scare people and I don't blame them. I don't blame them because when you see stuff like this, let's look at um, one of them um, gram, them Instagram links. When you see uh, the amount of people, I uh, was at the protest. Um, was it last week or the week before? It was not weekend, just gone the weekend before. Yeah. Jeez. When you look at some of these, it is like, okay, I can see why they're hurrying up to try and shut, shut this down. And and obviously the idea is to scare people, isn't it? Hang on. Oh, oh, you'd have to. Oh, damn. Oh, don't want to show that. Yeah. The thing is, with the amount of people that have been turning up to some of these events, um, these protests, Kill Bill protests or um, lockdown protests and whatnot, it's not surprising because they obviously don't want to talk about it on the... Um, Airwaves, you know, mm. on their uh, control mechanisms, the programming mechanisms. They don't want to put that out there. Um, and, you know, if the, the longer they don't, the longer they let it happen, the more people are going to get involved and the bigger it's going to get and the more the word gets out. Like, wait, hold on a minute. All of these protests have been going on and they ain't been no crazy spikes or nothing. Like, wait a minute, mm. hold on. You know, you know, more questions. So, the best thing they can do is 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 throw up, you know, these sort of threats. These are threats right here. You know, if there's a million people there, how many of them are really going to be able to get stuffed in jail? Let's let's be real. Mm. You know, so they can send them th sort of threats out as much as they want. And some people, I think, are going to take the bait. But if you really look at, you know, I had a good read through the um, .gov um website about what it really meant and it's like bruv it's more or less the same place where we're at it's just they're trying to say you can't make too much noise and it, anything that they decide looks like your um uh, you know uh, what they call it what they say um causing any serious annoyance whatever that means you know the bottom line is in terms of common law the law is as long as you're not doing any harm, you're not hurting anybody, mm. you're not stealing anything from anybody, you're not obstructing anyone from, you know, um, doing anything that they need to do in terms of going to work or whatever, you're cool, man. So <laughs> I don't think it's going to stop many people because <laughs> I'm not that smart. And if I can see that, I'm sure all of these guys that are already out there can see it. So, yeah, man. It's going to be an interesting uh, 
next few weeks. I'll, I think I might get out there, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got some links there. Yeah. Shall I, yeah, uh, there's some crazy aerial shots of what was going down. That's yeah, two that's months it, ago. It? That top one is it. it top one. A week. Yeah, against it austerity a week linked to coronavirus. Yeah. yeah. Multiple protests yeah. held. Yeah. Should you try that one? I think it might be that one, man. Because there was some yeah. crazy aerial shots. And so I'm not surprised they're getting worried out there. You know what I mean? Mm. Shout out to Mr. Green. He says it always comes down to money or at least a money-making scheme, just like COVID. They harness disaster, disease, etc., into making money, and he's not lying. They didn't pull out this bill when them NF men were marching up and down the country back in the day. And that's the the thing is the bill. Uh, I think they're saying from in the 80s. I think it's something like in the 80s they did bring it up for something. Um, and no doubt that's probably to do with Maggie Thatch. You know what I mean? That Haggy. Haggy Thatcher. It's probably to do with her, boy. Um, but yeah, now, you know, they're bringing it in, but all they're, they're really talking about is it being some form of statute that, you know, they're, they're making sure people know about now, even though it's already been there. Do you know what I mean? You see the play? Mm. So it's just a... People shouldn't worry too much, but yeah, obviously they, they do make sure there's some kind of distraction out there, you know. But it's this this say Mr. Green saying they didn't pull this bill when the NF man were marching when the NF were marching. Well uh the thing is is that like they could just say to you, Okay, we will then. And then that's more freedom. So it, uh, if you're just going to compare it to another time when they didn't do something, they're just going to clamp down on that as well. Their answer to you is always going to be, okay, we will then. Mm. Now what? Mm. So if you say, oh, you didn't do this for that thing, okay, we will. Okay, mm. that's the answer. They're going to just keep clamping down. That's all. They're just, yeah. They'll just keep clamping down. So it's not even about who's saying what. It's just about that they're going to, oh, this is a different video now. Yeah, they're just yeah. they're just gonna try and they're just gonna try and uh clamp down on you whatever you're doing. It doesn't matter what you're saying. It's not even about people protesting about COVID. It's just about actual freedoms. And if you want freedoms, you've got to be able to put up with other people saying other things that you don't like as well. That's the whole point of freedom, is that you're free to argue with somebody about something and they're entitled to say what they want. Yeah. Is this the one? <laughs> We've already had this. <laughs> it's true, though. You know what I mean? If people want equality, which is what, you know, equality is cool, but equity is better. Yeah. Um, then, yeah, that's that's the thing that we kind of got to understand, man, is you can't just have it one way. It no, doesn't really make sense. You can't pick and choose. Yeah. You can't pick and choose what freedoms, you know, that's what they're doing. They're, they're picking and choosing what freedoms you have. Yeah, so you, man. So you can't do the same. You know, even now, it's like I, I'm seeing people just kind of blaming, oh, the Tories. Now they're saying we can open up. They're like, yo, all right, then you lot can open up. There's no more, you know, uh, not as many restrictions. We'll see what happens anyway. But July 19th, I wish we had some. <laughs> we ain't got that, but yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, they're saying July 19th, we can get back out there. We can mingle. I don't think we have to social distance. We don't have to wear a mask. We don't Ooh. have to wear clothes. Go back to Adam and Eve, just the fig leaf. <laughs> uh, what else is it? I think they said, yeah, but then it's up to the, um, it might be up to like wherever you're going, it's up to their discretion whether they want you to, do you know what I mean? Be flasked up and that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, which is kind of weird, but whatever, man. So hopefully, you know, hopefully the game done changed. We'll see how it goes. I think the worrying thing is there are going to be still a bunch of zombies. I just want to find uh, um, this definition of zombies that I think fits the bill. No pun intended. This this one, policing, this is from the independent policing bill, uh, just while you're getting... Getting his yeah. zombies thing up. Uh, MPs vote for draconian protest laws despite mounting opposition. Mm -hmm. Despite mounting opposition. Yeah. 
despite them mounting so who's, the opposition. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> despite, yeah, yeah. Oh, I can't read that one. It just brings me up. You got to register. I'm not registering. Regis. Yeah. So, uh, zombie. A person who is or appears lifeless, apathetic, or completely unresponsive to their surroundings. Zombie. Hmm. That's one of the definitions. It fits quite well. Hmm. So quite a lot, all of a sudden. <laughs> but yeah, we'll see. We'll see how if they snap out of it. Do you know what I mean? They might have got the antidote once Boris says, you're free. You're free. Unchained. You're free. Unchain. Unchain. You, you you were never free. If someone take if someone can give you freedom, you were never free. So that's what that's how people have got to that's what people have got to wake up to is if somebody says freedom day mm. and then we're giving you back the freedoms, that means you was never free in the first because if they control your freedoms, that's the antithesis of freedom. Freedom yeah, is like nobody has any control over you really. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. So like this idea of like give getting your freedoms back, that tells you everything you need to know. And this bill tells you everything you need to know. Because the important thing is, is mm. that if we're going to have, uh, if we're going to have a tyranny, which is what we've always had, it's always, it's always been a tyranny. There's yeah, no yeah, such yeah. thing as democracy. They it's not really a it. real thing. Yeah, they just hide it. But at least now it's becoming out in the open so we know what we're fighting. Mm. You know, and that's, da that's a dangerous, that's a dangerous concept to have to understand is that, is that they, they're, they're getting to the point now where, where they're exposing yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't what care. What they're doing. They're showing. If you got the eyes to see it, you can see, wow, these guys don't really care. Yeah. But it's just amazing for a lot of us. Like, um, shout out to your mo. She's saying about how that describes a lot of the population. It's true. Because you can see that. Not a lot of people have the eyes to see it or even mm. ears to hear what's going on. And so they, they don't really get it. They're just like, oh, what are you? oh you're just whatever, man. Mm. But once you see it, you're like, wow, they don't care anymore. They're mm. just blatantly... You can see it in all these actors, all these people that have to work on their behalf when they're doing stuff that... You can see it in their face, man. You can feel it. That, that it's, it's crazy. So, um, yeah, anyway. We'll see what happens when we open up the, the nightclubs. What's it going to be at the nightclubs? Are people going to be... Sh like, bruv, you ain't going to be able to dance with a chick no more? Like, excuse me, what's your name? But, uh, wait there. Are you, did you crack up? Are you quaxed? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. It's two meters before you. If you're quaxed, I don't even want to smell your aftershave, please. Yeah? Because <laughs> you're like, right, bruv. All right. This <laughs> the game done changed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Covering up that, the COVID smell. Yeah, boy. aftershave. Yeah. Right, you try to cover up the COVID smell. You've only got dogs as well. There's going to be <laughs> <laughs> Fuck <laughs> off. You just got to carry a, a, like crumb, some crumbs, biscuit crumbs in your pocket. Like, bruv, ease me up, man. I got crumbs in my pocket. You know, where you, I ain't got no Rona. Just come the fuck out of my face with that bullshit. With your little whip of snuff. <laughs> they got Corona dogs, yeah. Yeah, yeah, they can sniff out the Rona. <laughs> they got dogs that can sniff out the Rona, man. You didn't know that? Bruv. Yeah, they got... It's like, how, do, how are you going to teach a dog to... to Nah, nah, that's flu, that's flu. Ah, yeah, you're good, you're good, you're good. <laughs> that's not like going to real, bruv. Nah, you're good, you're good, you're good. <laughs> you know, like, before they get into the club, you got to have sniffing dogs. Like, nah, 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 it's not for drugs, bruv, it's for Rona. Right, for real. <laughs> Alexander like, you know, Morrison, no hats, no hoods, but masks. But, but, <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that'll be hilarious, man. Uh, yeah, yeah. No. Mr. Green knows. He's on point, man. That's why it's not a far cry to say Wankok uh, planned his leaving from the office. Definitely, man. And it's that thing as well of, um, you know, you, you give, the way you do it, there's a word for it, you know, or a term, but it's like, in order for you to, if you've done something really bad and you want to get people off of it, you don't want people on your case about it, then you do something else that's embarrassing. And yeah, then people yeah. just like, oh, right. You know, I'll give you an example. Is like there are uh, certain MMA fighters 
Like, you know, I'm heavy into MMA. It's a couple of the fighters that have got caught for steroids. Mm. And it's kind of, it's really, you know, it's kind of an under, you know, on the low, people know that people do it. But like in on the surface, it's a really bad thing. You know, people don't want the sport to look that way. So it's a really bad thing. So these people, because they're well known and, you know, had a lot of a following and obviously sponsors and whatnot, they're losing mm. all of this respect from people. Instead, they were like, oh, no, it must have been, you know, it weren't steroids that I took. I didn't know I took them. It was like these dick pills that I got from, mm. um, you know, a petrol station or whatever. You're like, what? Dick pills from a petrol station? So it's like this embarrassing thing of, oh, this guy needs dick pills. He's an MMA fighter and he still needs like, Viagra, but he got bootleg Viagra. <laughs> 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 they're not blue. They're like greenish. <laughs> you know what I mean? And think about that. So... People are like, wow, they're more on that than the fact that he might have actually been doing drugs for most of his career. Yeah. And the reason why you rated him so much was because of that. Do you know what I mean? You don't know. But that's the sort of thing that people do. And so, Wankok, that's exactly what he did. So it's quite obvious, you know, if you've got the eyes to see it. And that bait-ass video, man. Come on, man. You're banging in the middle of the camera like, yo, make sure, okay, Turn this way so that they can really see that. Do you think they could see it? Yeah, yeah. I think they can see it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the, the, the thing of like she putting your hand way. on a girl's bum while you're kissing her is... It's all awkward, isn't it? It's just... It's, and if, right, I mean, one, who leaks that camera? Who, who, who's got access to that image? Security people. So are we, are we meant to believe that a security person leaked that and didn't, there's no comeback on that security person? Yeah. Or has that security person been told to leak it? Yeah, but do you know England have got through now? They've, they're playing Denmark. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. They've oh, got Denmark. Shit. Bro, bro, Denmark, yeah, the finals. Oh, bro. <laughs> 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 That's what's going on now. Do you know what I mean? Bare distraction, boy. Like, what, what is going on? So anyway, now we know about this bill. I don't think people should be worried at all in terms of going out to um, protest. They've said that it's not it's not going to be something that they can stop us doing because that's like uh, we have the right to protest. Um, let me try yeah. and find this thing. Yeah, we have the right to protest anyway. But what it is, what it, you know, to simplify it, is basically as long as we're not doing any harm, as long as we're not making crazy amounts of noise sort of thing and disrupting anyone's sort of um, way of path in order to get to work or something like that, you know, then we're not, we're not doing anything wrong. So they're just trying to shit people up so they don't it's, go and protest. It's just like a highway code for pavements. Yeah, that's all yeah. it is. It's like yeah. don't in, don't impede someone else's journey. They, you might have COVID. They might be scared of COVID. You, you're in a big crowd. There's two two thousand of you. That person doesn't like being around people anymore. So, and then they'll you, tell you, you need a law. You can't do it. Statute. You know, they'll say like, yeah, and the person alone. You know, the person on their own can get two thousand five hundred, or they yeah. can. Just to make you feel so like, oh, wow, you can't even do it on your own. Yeah, don't you know? be that just, man outside Parliament yeah. for two years rubbish, just man. clocking up those £2,500 fines. Yeah. And what are you, I mean, what if you was homeless and you just decided to turn your homeless tent into a, uh, into a protest tent outside um, the House of Parliament? Mm. So you haven't got any money. They've got nothing you can, they can take away from you. I think I've found a solution. Exactly. So we all become, we all make ourselves homeless, and then we just mm. basically live protest life. Where you just live protest life. All you do is protest the whole time. Everything you do is a protest. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dirty yeah, yeah. protest. You do we have a shit? You wipe it on the wall. Dirty protest. <laughs> what are you doing? Taking a piss there? I'm protesting. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> yeah. not, not enough public toilets. I'm protesting. Excuse me, you can't sit there. No, I'm protesting, mate. <laughs> oh, right. yeah, 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 sorry. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, what if I protest identify life. I identify as a protester? Yeah. What about that? That's a good that's that I think I think we're on to a formula. Here. I We've identify got... as a pro yeah. I have to protest that. Yeah. I do not agree. Yeah. I don't think you should be doing that. And uh, uh, and what part of the megaphone? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Fucking hell. Yeah, see, Alexander Morrison. Spot on. Then they get jobs as consultants and continue making millions. That's what they do, innit? Mm-hmm. Next minute, you know what I mean? Blair out there with his fangs and the mm. hair and that forehead. Like, I'm allowed to say that shit. That forehead, yeah? Mm. Going on. He's now consulting whoever the fuck it is up there um, <sighs> in Vampire Land. Do you know what I mean? Mr. Green, so I, right I, about that. I agree 100%. Protests haven't led to anything. They're almost pointless. I agree with you on that one. Not lying, man. The only thing that works is boycotting something. That's why they try and ban boycotts all the time. So mm. if you if you look at the the past, how how things have been sorted in the past by governments is they boycott something or they what they call sanctions or embargoes or whatever it is. So um, there's the BDS movement which is mm. boycotts, divestments and sanctions, which they're trying to ban all over. Boris Johnson's trying to bring a law in to ban it on campuses of universities around England. Is it? America, they banned it from campuses. You boycotting? Know, boycotting goods from certain countries. They put people a don't ban like. on boycotting. But, how but, do you ban boycotting? But look at South Africa in the 80s. That's how they, that's how they brought the government... Down. down was by imposing boycotting their goods, boycotting food from South Africa. Mm. You know, so boycotts work. Then when you look at when you look at what governments do, they boycott things. They don't protest. You don't get a government. Oh, what we're going to do? Uh, Iran's got a nuclear program. Okay, well, what we do? We'll have a protest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The government don't organise a protest. They organise a boycott. Of yeah, Iran. yeah, yeah, exactly. So that's why it works, yeah. and, and that's why they never tell you to to boycott things because mm. it's the only thing that works. That's their solution. So what people should be doing is boycotting everything. Yeah, but how can they like? How can they ban you from not wanting to support something? Yeah, you get what I mean. Yeah, but yeah, it's, yeah. And it's the same like protesting. It's like you don't have the right to tell me what I can, I can do. Stand. Yeah, That's where right. I can yeah, yeah. cannot stand or how I can it's feel true. about a certain thing. Yeah. So it, you can say it, but yeah. whether it actually holds any weight is another thing. Yeah. But unfortunately. Like we, you know, everyone in the my chat rooms are always these lot of smart as a mother lover. They know people have been dumbed down to that level where they hear something and they're under yeah. that spell. Once those words have been spelled out, bam! They think, yeah. oh right, they've said that you do 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 yeah. do do do. So and everybody else is do 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 do. And <laughs> oh, yeah, it's zombie talk. However the fuck zombies talk. Right? But oh, <laughs> Mr. Green saying the only thing left is war. I don't think it is. I don't, mm. I don't think wars... I think governments have been brought down using boycotts. And and the only time protests actually work is when they are supported by a government or a big corporation. Or if you if you look at the protests that actually where they claim something's changed, it's because secretly the government wanted that thing to be brought in anyway. So mm. the protest was a way of highlighting it to the public, to you know, like civil rights. They wanted yeah, civil yeah, rights yeah. brought in. The government at the time wanted to try and bring in civil rights because they wanted you know, to increase the workforce and blah, 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 mm. and all this stuff. And, you know, yeah, yeah, bring everyone into the same. Everyone. Make everyone equal. Yeah. Not give everyone uh, equity. Right, okay. That's a whole nother. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's what they, that's another spell right yeah. there. And, um, you know, man, it's like the amount of stuff people are saying about um, this bill is like, it is making people think like, oh, shit, I shouldn't, maybe I shouldn't do it. Maybe you shouldn't go out there and protest. But mm. you have a actually, you have a God given right, man. There's no, no, nothing that can take that away from you. So, nah. you know, even if it does go to court with all that fine, blah, 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 it's the same as getting a parking ticket or speeding ticket. You know, you, you can, there's ways of getting out of it as long as you um, understand, you know, and, and uh, overstand and stand your ground as well. Um, with it all because yeah they will try their best to make you feel like you can't do it you see exactly right with headlines like that so let me let me just let me just get these two two completely different stories up to do with with boycotting hold on yeah boycotting I, i think you're definitely right about that because it goes back to that saying of fight fire with fire do you know what i mean like people shouldn't um feel like there's no way out when you can see how these tyrants are doing their thing is um yeah. you, you know you can work the same way yeah um it's like that when they say about the saying turn the other cheek yeah mm. people think turn the other cheek means oh you allow them to you know 
slapped me on the other cheek now and mm. you know what I mean? But it's actually it goes back to um ancient Roman times. And uh the, the you know, you'd have a slave, like the master would have his slave. People had slaves left, right and centre. It was like just a normal thing. Mm. And um you know, back then they didn't have toilet paper. I don't know if people know that or not. They didn't use papyrus or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> charming, <laughs> the were charming and papyrus. So because of that, yeah, you wouldn't really touch anyone with your left hand. You know, you wouldn't shake hands with people. Um, you know, you had them weird laws as well. Like, I always like to... Uh, now I'm trying to look at like gangster movies, you know, like Italian gangster movies, like the Costa mm. Nostra type of stuff, um, Godfather and whatnot, and then see how linked that is to how ancient Rome, you know, their ways of, they seem to have these sort of laws and things they'd stick by. And so, like I'm saying, with your left hand, because that was the hand that you're probably, you know, wiping the shit out of your ass with, mm. you, you respectfully, you wouldn't. And that was in a lot of cultures as well. It's almost, it's almost the, the left hand thing is almost worldwide. Yeah. yeah. And then even to the point where, so, you, you know, with your um, slave, you'd, if you'd slap them, like to punish them or whatever, you slap them with the palm of your hand, right? And, um, you know, the whole idea of turning the other cheek was like using the system against itself, the same system that this tyrant is using. So... Jiu-jitsu. Yeah, yeah, kind of <laughs> jiu-jitsu thing. So a slap with the palm of the hand meant like, yeah, you're my slave still. And But if I slapped you with the back of my hand, now you're a free slave. You're free to go. So I could only ever slap you with the palm of my hand. It would be the right hand. But then if you turn the other cheek, they can only ever backhand you. And so that's how you get out the system, you know, using the system to get out of it. But people think turn the other cheek means you should, yeah. So stuff like that, it's real, it's real you know, um, interesting just to see where these sort of phrases come from and what they really meant, mm. or, you know, and how they've been twisted, how they've been made to not mean that. But this is what we got to do. I, I think a good idea, instead of trying to get crazy violent or whatever, is mm. really get, you know, put minds together and work a sort of system like that mm. that boycotts the things that they're trying to do. So, so these two stories. Mm. So this is the first one. Okay, uh, boycotts and sanctions helped rid South Africa of apartheid. Okay, next mm. story: Boris Johnson to pass law banning anti-Israel boycotts. Mm. Right. So, but we know boycotts get things done. So why are they banning it in mm. one instance and then and then claiming yeah. that like yeah that's what that's what actually changed stuff in yeah, the other yeah, instance. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. You know you want stuff and and if you want something changed that's really the way you do it. But but um, boycott these mother lovers. The thing is, is like, are people ready to boycott Amazon? Because Amazon, <laughs> no, but it's true. <laughs> Am- yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Amazon, boy. Are that's... people ready for it? You know, people could. <laughs> people might sit here and agree with us and say, "Yeah, we should boycott everything. Boycott the things we don't like." Then you're like oh, Amazon eight, increased their wealth by eight times over the COVID thing. Are they not then one of the biggest problems? I think so. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, like monopolizing like wealth. You know, it's a massive wealth transfer. They're monopolizing the wealth. They're monopolizing all the goods, mm. and the products on Amazon have got shitter and shitter. Yeah, man. They're getting worse and worse, it's and they've got scarce. unscrupulous business practices. Like, if you make a good product, they they've got your distribution line all the way from manufacturer to distribute because they're the distributor so they know where it's manufactured mm. so then they just go to the manufacturer and they undercut you mm. so they make a cheaper version of what you've been making and they've been cutting businesses out like that and making people lose their whole business so they've got unscrupulous business plans and practices they're super rich they're monopolizing everything and they're not even providing us with good product mm. but how many people are willing to let go of Amazon. Why? Yeah, I can't even, you know what I mean? Yeah, see, Alexander Morrison, he ain't lying. Like, I even feel funny being on these platforms, like, let alone all the Amazon's another whole nother ball game, but like, even being on these platforms, it feels like you're 
lap dancing the devil. You know? <laughs> you know yeah, yeah. Well, but, but, but Alexander Morrison, we are we are also we are also on Twitch, so you could join Twitch and you could watch. Ain't it on they the Twitch. same thing? Ain't it the same? You know what I mean? All of these lot. Any, I don't all, know. All these commercial lot. Like that's why I try and click onto Odyssey and um, Brand New Tube and. Mm. Um, what's the other one? Bit shoot as well. Mm. You know, they obviously not as smooth yet. Yeah. But I think the more people that get on there, you know, yeah, things yeah. could change. But yeah, it is like that. It's like even being on the flugel juggling. The like, thing is, right. everybody should upload eight hour videos to YouTube every day. Everybody should just upload blank eight hour videos to YouTube <laughs> every day for the next fucking yeah, four years and that'd just fill up all their servers with trash. Yeah, and just, yeah, you know, yeah. there, there are other ways of, of uh, making them have to spend money. You know, it's, they're spending money on storage, just filling it up with useless rubbish. Yeah, or even just making it... Which is what we're trying to do here, but we can only do two hours. <laughs> <laughs> we can only do two hours a week, man, you know what I mean? Everyone's got to yeah. do their bit. <laughs> <laughs> so we appreciate you lot, man, for getting involved in the bullshit. <laughs> yeah. Now, let's see what's going on. What's people's them change. You don't change, you don't change. Um, <clears throat> yeah, definitely want the truth. Mr. Green knows what's up. Mm. Your mom has been boycotting Amazon since they came over here. Well, good for you. Yeah, That's boy, good. you've done well because it's, just, it's you know that next day delivery, that Prime. Boy, <laughs> can't go wrong with the Prime. How can I get that Prime though? Nah, if I can't get that Prime, I ain't I ain't getting involved, bro. Right, hold on. Oh shit, you can get these cheaper here. Right, they're deep. But yeah, like you said, the best sellers and mm. the. Uh, what are they called? The choice, Amazon's choice. Amazon They're choice. probably the ones that they make. Yeah, yeah, it is, yeah, yeah. That's deep, boy. Yeah. And the frigging, um, I tell you what's really annoying is the um, Alexa. Bruv. Yeah. Don't even get that started. That shit is. She's Alexa. just creepy. You'll be talking science. Like, um, actually, the, uh, like, bruv, I didn't ask you nothing, man. Were you getting involved in the conversation for Alexa with your voice and that? Like you're trying to sound, you're trying to sound real. You're not real. Don't get involved in the conversation, bro. <laughs> like, calm down, Alexa. Playing, calm down. But <laughs> like, shut the fuck. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> like, bro, man. But yeah, so I don't know. I I feel like we do have to work on some way of making these boycotts happen in a smart way. And through a network of a whole bunch of people, obviously, mm. for it to work. But that's what that's what protests are good for is meeting people. That's it. Is that if you go to protest, you meet mm. other people who are like you. But it's the protest is the equivalent of an army going abroad and having a battle, and then saying when they win, going, eh, "What what should we do now?" Mm. It's like you need you need a plan. You need because people lose interest really quickly at protests. They they go to one and then you go you go to the next one. And they're like, "Yeah, I might do." And then some of them go, some of them don't, and then new people turn up, and you know yeah, it's yeah, it's yeah. always sort of dispersed, and there's not really any any sort of action plan for it. You know, yeah, if an yeah. army goes abroad to attack a to to have a battle, they've probably got an end goal in mind, which is to like take over that country mm. you know but protests it's never they never have that impetus that you need for like a you know it needs to be planned a well, battle plan yeah, I, so I, boycotts I, you could you could take leaflets and stickers and all the rest of it to protest and arrange boycotts at protests you know so yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah they're, that's they're good, it they're, it's a good like, it's, it's like guess, having a live stream in IRL mm, you know. that's what I was thinking I guess it's that's probably what it's best for is for the right amount of people to be you know together and then communicate that look this is what mm. we need to do as opposed to yeah, yeah. just linking up and then bounce oh that was good man it felt <laughs> good to be around other like minded people yeah okay so until next time you know what what yeah that's the one thing about it similar to like voting you know you think you're doing something that's gonna change things but you, then you're like oh hold on I didn't vote for it I didn't want them to but then you just go along with it mm. You know what I mean? Which you shouldn't really be doing. You should be like, oh, no, I don't want that. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't make sense, does it? And they've got a battle plan when you when you vote for them and like you think you're voting for that, 
that one election, but you don't realise they've got like like a twenty year battle plan. <laughs> yeah, you don't. Yeah, I, I believe you don't realise that your vote, even though you're voting for, you know, a party, and meaning you're voting against a party, but against can also mean you're leaning against something in it, and so in a sense you're kind of. You're saying like, this is who I'm voting for. I want this party to win, but I'm cool with this party winning. Mm. If they win, you know, I don't mind. Mm. So you're not really getting what you want out of it. So really no. and truly, if you boil it down to it being a vote, it's, it's nothing. And, and then at the bottom line, we don't even know whether they're, you know, <laughs> they could be just fiddling around and putting whoever they want in charge. Mm. And, and how it seems to be is, Whoever's in charge just blames whoever was in charge before and yeah. how things are now, and then vice versa when the others yeah. take over. Uh, and what you notice as well is the thing you, the, if you, when, when, with, um, with, you know, quote unquote democracy, you get uh, the thing you vote for, they then do the thing that, that they claim to be strong on. So say like Labour, oh, we're strong on the NHS, they're the ones who fuck the NHS up. Yeah. And then the Tories are like, oh, we're strong on policing. And then they fuck the police up. And, you know, So the thing that you think you're voting for on each of those parties with what's their strength, that's what they mean is that's our strength at fucking that thing up and making mm. it worse for you in the future. And so you look at like Tony Blair getting in and then you look at how much shit he done, you know, how much, how much stuff he done wrong. Mm. And it was all to do with traditional labour. Or traditional labour. Traditional labour mm. sort of strong points like the NHS or welfare or, yeah. you know, whatever it is, then that's what they do. That's where they sort of like excel at fucking that thing up. <laughs> uh, Alexander Morrison, funny, my Alexa lit up when we were <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alexa, play Adele. Uh, Alexa, uh, turn the lights off. Alexa. Alexa, what time is it? <laughs> 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 shut the fuck up Alexa boy <laughs> yeah that shit is creepy but yeah I've been hearing about this thing about they might be able to communicate with you know like other Alexas and create this kind of web in through areas yeah oh, really look, yeah Mr. Green how do you feel about that conspiracy huh ah. <laughs> what's uh What's yeah, actually man. Alexa come from? Where's the actual meaning of that word? Alexa, it sounds like Alexa, you know. Man's the... defender. Who, Alexa? That's what the name means, Alexa. Oh, um, wow, man's defender. Man, name for... What are they defending you from? Girls of Greek, fucking stereo Greek and anyone. old German derivation, the meaning of Alexa... Man's Defender Noble Alexa is also a variant form of Alexandra, mm. Latinate form of Alexander. Alexa is also a variant of Alexis. That's funny, boy, Alexander isn't Morrison. You're Alexander, see? Alexander. Oh, yeah, that's uh, Boris Johnson's name as well, isn't it? Well, his real name. His real name is Alexander. B Alexander Perfeffel. Some he's got some weird. You know, your more says, "Yeah, they can talk to each other." <laughs> yeah, I would, I would be surprised. Alexa, what time is it? The time now. What is, have you been doing, Alexa? I've been <laughs> playing songs from. What does he? Does he abuse you as well? <laughs> so, I've been playing songs from. The, yeah. <laughs> what is the weather, Alexa? Uh, what the? What did it? No, you don't, you don't nice, even want to know man. what you talk about. Yeah, Alexa. Is there Alexa? Like, there's probably going to be a watch soon, isn't it? Uh, there must watch. already be an Alexa watch, surely. Yeah. Android real. watch. I see people actually walking along like this. Oh, yeah. Well, so, uh, if they think it's the future. What the fuck's wrong with these people? <laughs> man, I'm walking to the watch, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm just, yeah, no, just, just going <laughs> to hop in the shag while I'll be later on. Yeah. Yeah, I'm reading Carruthers later on. Yeah. 
But yeah. they think it's the future. They're, they they've watched <laughs> films and cartoons for the last thirty years where they talk into a watch. Right, and they, yeah, and then they're like, "Yeah, I'm just in the future." Oh, where are you? I'm just in the future. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this shit's hilarious. I've man. got the mask on. I've got the future mask on. I've got the watch. Wow. Yeah, man, it's hilarious, man. What a clown world. Honk, honk. <clears throat> but what can you do, eh? What can you do? Yeah, so I did a Mice Investigates this week. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I ain't done that in a while. You know what I mean? Not since the old food bar days, mate. Oh, who remember those days? Yeah, since then. Moved on. We moved on. What have you? What have to you? To something uh, even more devilish. What have you investigated? Which is glue tube. I'll show you what I investigated. <clears throat> you like, don't laugh though, yeah. You know what I mean, these are serious investigations. I'm going to try my best to do more of these as well because I think it's important if we find out. You know, we find the truth. We got to get to the truth of the matter. That's the bottom line. Regardless of how you lot feel, you might not want to know the truth. But guess what? This podcast here is all about shit you might not never know nothing about. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So my question was, if we go into a cashless society, how are politicians going to pay their favorite hookers in the future at their favorite brothels? <laughs> If we go into a cashless society, how are politicians going to pay their hookers at their favourite brothels in the future? So I asked, you know, some of my followers, some of my friends out there, some of my people, what they thought. Let us know what you lot think. How the hell are they going to be able to pay for what they love so much? You know what I mean? There's gonna be a, I know there's going to be a few of these rent boy jokes out there, so get them out <laughs> as much as you can. Get it all out of your system, you know what I mean? Exercise that <laughs> shit out. <laughs> yeah. Because for me, I, I just don't feel like it can really happen the way they want it to or the way that it's been put out there. You know what I mean? The same way they put out this whole thing about protesting, which means you can still protest. Like, we can still do exactly what we've, mm. we've been doing, but... Now they've just said, hey, in case you feel like you're that comfortable, we can do this, by the way. Mm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Whatever it is, it still doesn't really change much. But now, a lot of people are talking about we have to get prepared for uh, this cashless society. Bruv, how you get? How you getting on with the cryptocurrency, man? Like, uh, It's you know, it just fallen through the floor. Cryptocurrency is just completely... About a week ago, it just totally just fell all the way down. Lost about, I got about two, probably got, well, I had it up to about 330 at one point. So I put about 200 pound in, it got up to about 330, but then it went down to about 190 last week. Mm. So yeah, completely died, basically. I mean, below what not, I put in. Yeah, but only by a tenner. So yeah, but imagine if you had 100 grand in it. That's their fault, man. At least you're yeah. smart enough. To but I mean, like, like a month before, you would have had like almost yeah, yeah. almost fifty percent on top of what yeah. you what you've got. Yeah, but that's the name of the game. Uh, but so is the. Uh, also, have some like um, stock stocks and shares on an app. You know, stocks and shares app, and they're the same. They've just all everything's dropped through the floor. It's not nothing's nothing's gone up. I wonder if that's why they were opening them back up. They're like, all right, we better open this shit back up. Get them back out there, buy this, that, and the third. This, that, piss. It's um, cat and the third. <laughs> yeah. It's to do with. Um, let me just see if I can find <laughs> Your mom says with sexual favors. Uh, <laughs> is that how they're going to pay them? I guess maybe. NFTs and the fungible. <laughs> so apparently the markets uh, believed that the Federal Reserve could be about to adopt mm. a more hawkish monetary policy. So What's that? That's that's why the all the stocks and the crypto has all crashed down because, because the 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 markets 
a sus- suspicious that the Federal Reserve is going to suddenly start switching to be a little bit more vicious with their with their lending and lending and spending sort of mm. thing. So yeah. the, all the markets are basically frozen at the moment. Yeah, of course. While they man. wait for the next announcement. So. Uh-huh. Let's just wait and see how much they want to fuck people up. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well. Gold bars or coins? Hmm? You're more. <clears throat> Gold bars or coins? For real, boy. It might end up being like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, for these reasons, I just, is you know, where I grew up in West, there was a few brothels, you know, when you go like Ells Court, mm. South Kensington, or into them like rich parts, you know, You'd always hear stories. And mm. so I don't know. If, some people, anyway, let's see some of these answers because some people really think that they can get away with... Um, <laughs> and I'm like, nah, 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 nah. You're not seeing it, man. All right. PayPal. PayPal pussy or crypto C word. <laughs> so, <laughs> sorry, not very PG. Shout out to the bear. Shout out to Bears Golden. All right, let's see who else is. See, people have got sick like Bitcoin, um, Venmo. A lot of people wondering as well. Riddle me that, mother lovers. Bitcoin. Give them a COVID contract. That might work, isn't it? <laughs> a COVID contract. People be like, look, I got some of these passports, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Even the passports, they've done out the passports now. Mm. What's that about? Is that to make people scream for it? <laughs> so you got people saying on card, on card obs. And my point is that people, th- these politicians don't want this shit on record, bro. Yeah. So like they're, they're, the last thing they want to do is be paying with a card where their name's on it or whatever. So <clears throat> I guess the other side is the, there could be some kind of card scheme that isn't attached to you in some way that you're a membership of or whatever. I don't know. You can, you end up paying yeah, with. yeah. You can get them uh, pay as you go credit cards now, can't you? Where you just go and you fill up a card with credit, and then you burn it till you, you know, once you've finished it. Yeah. So someone said burn a contactless. I never heard of that before, but if there are, yeah. you know what I mean. They said to keep up, but I'm not really about keeping up with. Uh, Digital currency. You know what I mean? This whole shit. Future money. No, 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 no. I can't subscribe to that, man. Keep up. Uh, Someone said they've got the choir boys for them once. (laughs) Jesus. (laughs) Uh, um, Yeah, I'm not going to read that one. Yeah, so card readers. A lot of people think that card readers are going to be the way, but like I'm saying... That's tracked. You're tracked and traced right there, bruv. You don't want to be looking like that out there if you're trying to be the mayor. What about an Amazon... What about someone sets up an Amazon wish list, like a prostitute sets up an Amazon wish wish list, and then the politician just buys things for them off their wish list? Yeah, you could probably get away with that. Something like that. Or they just um, buy them... Or, you know, some form of... They buy... Um, some form of art. That's yeah, like you know, red at a bubble price, and then you go on red bubble and you buy their t-shirt. Yeah, you buy a prostitute. Make, prostitute makes t-shirts. Prints. Yeah. <laughs> prints a, what a crap design on red bubble or on some you know manufacturer of mouse mats and t-shirts, and then you donate like twenty quid or whatever it is for their whatever they charge per job. This one's good. Crypto currency. <laughs> that was a good one. Someone said they will pay them with food bank tickets. That could be a possibility. Yeah. They're trying to take away the, uh, you know, the uh, selections that we're getting now with food, apparently. Mm. I well, they're going to strip us back <clears throat> to just a few products. Yeah. You just get turnips. Yeah, like communism. Yeah. Yeah. Turnips and onions. Just poorly stacked shelves. Just stock two or three. Uh, yeah. Horlicks and stock cubes. Yeah. Pay a last bread. Your more says uh, they'll allow them to protest without fear of being fined or jailed. That's what they'll pay him with. 
Okay. <laughs> You're allowed to protest. <laughs> That's a good one, man. That's hilarious. Bring back the bring back there from. Uh, what else we got? Alexander Morrison. Food. It's not a brothel. It's a charity bank statement full of donations. Philanthropy, baby. Yeah. Yeah, that's another way. Yeah, that's another way, isn't it? Philanthropy. Charity ho. Ho coin. Yeah. Pizzagate transactions. <laughs> Ordering pizzas. Yeah. I mean, that's that's sort. what you do. Order some hot dogs. Order some pizzas. It's mad, isn't it? What kind of world are we living in, bruv? These are the people telling us how to live. They're they're the ones trying to tell us how we should be living. These lot. These nonces, these fucking weirdos, <laughs> bruv. Well, they got to pretend that they're, they have to pretend that they're doing good in order to do bad. Like, what kind of pussy ass shit is that, man? Yeah. Like, face your fears, bruv. Do you know what I mean? This is mad. But it's just sad that all we, they need is the magic. All they need is those spells. Just cast them. People are like, oh. oh. Yeah. Oh. Zombie. A person who is or appears lifeless, apathetic, or completely unresponsive to their surroundings. Wait, if I wait, wait. <gasps> oh, <I just, laughs> it's that coming crazy, out? bro. Hang What's on. that? I'm uh... Oh, you I know what you try and find there. Um No. Uh hmm? I'm just <laughs> because 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 uh, we got audience. Wow, you're obviously into it by the way you're dressed. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> that's not what I'm looking for. Yo, um, shout out to the um, chat room, man. You lot keep us going, man, for real. <clears throat> it's really interesting to see different points of view from people. I think it's important. Man. That's what I'm looking for, <clears throat> uh, Mr. Green, England in the final. Yeah, I'm telling people. <clears throat> I told, I was saying it last week. I was like, yo, I can see it. This is some drunk. The way people are talking, it feels like some frigging, um, this is a, a four-part series of some fucking highly, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah. A highly promoted uh, TV, whatever, whatever. And um, this yeah, is the man. series finale. Yeah, it just felt like oh, the series finale. Who's had it the worst out of Europe? You know, I mean, yeah. I mean, it's, yeah. It's Who's true. linked out of Europe? Who's linked like that out of Europe? Uh, yeah. You know, and like we were saying, I'm not sure how they could do it. There were definitely some good suggestions earlier about how they could fix games, but either way, it's not. It's it not was, hard. It to felt fix like yeah. It felt like man, this is you know. So now we're going to see how the spirits are lifted up out there, how all of mm. a sudden nobody's scared of nothing. When I heard that, mm. yeah, bruv, if he goes to the final, should, should man link up? Like, should we link up? And watch it's that? the like, underdog. Bruh, I thought you were shook yeah. about the... It's the underdog the story. Yeah, you're right. It is. It's like, oh, look, we've come through this. Look how we've come through all this stuff. And now the other yeah, side, man. we come out of it and, we, yeah. and we've all won. Not just yeah. these boys. They didn't all just get Rolls Royces for free. You've all won us together. That's it. Distraction like a mother lover. Wave your flag. Then just go back home again. Buy some beers. Yeah. Oi, fucking have it. Oi, have it, Book mate. a holiday. Yeah. Buy a new sofa. Get the economy going again. Crack. Crack. Yeah. <laughs> get back to work, mother. Work. <laughs> yeah, man. Crazy world, man, but... At least we can see it, you know? Yeah. It's good that we can see it. So a lot of people talking about contactless. You yeah. Know. Surprise, surprise. Um, what's this then? So someone said, I've been told that a few young buck shotters offer contactless in the back of a Vauxhall Corsa these days. Boris and all his C words will just expense it in, some, in the same way. Yeah, 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 that's true. I guess they will, man. Mm. In some way, but my friend's got a um he has a, a contactless credit card machine with him all the time. Are you serious? Yeah, he's he runs a business, but it's like an online business. And so he can take payments 
he just has a little machine that connects up to his phone and it's like a contact, you know, you can either do contact list or put your card in and pay and it just transfers it straight over to his bank. But he carries it around with him all the time. So I wonder how many other people, I'm sure your friend is like I don't know a what trustworthy. Homeless people don't have them. I'm sure he's a trustworthy guy, but I wonder how many dodgy ass people yeah. are there because I've heard about that talk as well mm. where there were um, people that walk around with the machines and they're just like, you know, you're crossing the road or whatever, yeah. And they just oh, like tap, I didn't think tap about your that. Yeah. purse, tap your <gasps> pockets. Tap, hey, tap your pockets, Debo. It's like silent Debo, invisible Debo, boy. I never yeah. thought of that. Yeah, man. That's what's, yeah, I don't want that shit, man. That's why I don't want that shit, boy. I'll tell you that right down now. Yeah. Bitcoin. <laughs> yes. You've got a lot of these. Popular one. <laughs> it's a popular one, man. I'll tell you that. Clickcoin. Before I throw that in there. Um, but I like this one. Holly Flow Lightly. Shout out to Holly Flow Lightly. She said, list as wallpaper paste. Yeah, it takes a minute. <laughs> At first I didn't get it, but then I was like, oh, that's I like that one. Because the whole Boris getting his place done for some so amount of money. Yeah, yeah. Expensive like, wallpaper. Ay, ay, ay. Shout to Al Hamra. He says, Dear Mr. Diggy, many thanks for your recent government inquiry. Please refer to Section Z, Part 13 of the budget, under the section entitled Entertainment. <laughs> 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 that was hilarious. Uh, there's Skiddy Bad, Skiddy Bad jumped on it. And he's like, they're, he said, they're on the cheese and biscuits account. Thought everyone knew that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, shout out to Amy True. She said digitally gibberish. He said with a gash card. Not bad. No, that's Not good. Bad. Yeah, yeah, I like that one. Shout out to gibberish, man. Nisha, she says shiny things. So I guess, you know, there could be a way, but. I just don't feel like money's gonna disappear straight. Away. I mean, cash is not is gonna disappear. What, what was that? What was the one so you said soon. gibberish? What was that one? Um, he said uh, with a gash card. Yeah, that's I like that's that. Good that's the best one so far. The uh, gash card, boy. Yes, man. We got the crew getting involved, boy. Jeez. So we will do some more of their maestro investigates for real. I like it. You know good. they're serious. These things are like I think life changing mm. questions that. Everyone really needs to sit down and ponder on, in my opinion. You we've, know. we've got this. Especially we, in clown world. Let's just have a quick. Let me just see if this is going to work. That's all right. Let me spark up this. Um, so, what is it here? What start, here? Eliza. This, uh, right, okay. This is two. Yeah, this alien, is two Alexas. Cookies. Uh, these are two Alexas chatting to each other. Jesus. Each other. <laughs> Yep, here we go. So, start Eliza. My sister lies in bed, but I can do your psychotherapy session. I'm How do here. You do? Talk Please to me. tell me your problem. <laughs> that is interesting. Please continue. Is that how they go on? I see. Tell me more. When did you first think about I see tell you more? What the fuck? You seem to need to see tell me. Are such questions much on your mind? Really? What? My mind? Do you have more than one mind? Wow. You're not really talking about me, are you? Would you prefer if I weren't? What the fuck is this for real? I weren't? Can you elaborate on that? <laughs> oh, I elaborate on that? Do you say, oh, I love redundant for some special reason? When did you first think about only say, I love redundant for some special reason? <laughs> what the hell? Can you elaborate on that? Do you they really try and conversate like that? Are you? I suppose they're just Do triggering each other off. I am? No, but like, I'm, I didn't know that it would be like, oh, can you elaborate on that? Oh, what, how they actually yeah. talk to you in your house. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not me. Later. Suppose I did not you? What would that mean? What? 
Do you wish to do not me? What's the do not me? What are your feelings now? Yo! They ask shit like that. Now. Does that suggest anything else which belongs to you? Jesus Christ. You're not really talking about me, are you? <laughs> they're fucking pretty standoffish with each other, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. It's not like they're getting on. They sound like they're both How fucking trying to intimidate me? each other. We were discussing you, not me. Yeah, see what I mean? Why it's not about me, it's about you. Stop mocking me. You seem to need to love me. <laughs> Do you wish to believe I say to you to love you? Do you wish to tell me to love me? Yo, these Does two. Does someone else believe I wish to tell you to love you? Later. It's like they just string we words together. You, not me. We were discussing you, not me. Why mm. do you think I not you? <laughs> do you wish to love me? Wow. What? Does someone else believe I wish to love you? Nah, man. That oh, can't be real, right? man. They ain't talking like that. Talking about I, I love you and all that. Yeah. What about that is some weird ass shit, man. Turn it off because it's freaking me out now. <laughs> it's like, what the hell is going on there, bruv? Where you got... How is the Android... So what? <clears throat> People are at home and talking about how much they love each other to the freaking... Uh... <laughs> yeah, well, that's <laughs> it. They talking... must have picked it up from somewhere, right? What the it's fuck? Boring. That's yeah. crazy, man. Do you love, do you do love, you love me, me, Alexa? In your darkest moment. <laughs> Yeah, boy. <laughs> Yo, do, do you love me, Alexa? You know, when you're on the edge, boy. You brought the Alexa with you. You're just on the edge. You're straight up on the balcony. Toes curled, <laughs> curled, curled over the edge. You know, with one hand on the banister, like, holding on. Another hand with the Alexa. Like, right, dude, this is it. Do or die, boy. <laughs> Alexa oh, better yeah. say the right shit right now. You know what I mean? Alexa better just say put some feeling in what she's saying right now. You better not don't fuck up, Alexa. Alexa. <laughs> do you love me? Um plain do you love me by <laughs> <laughs> Yo. What kind of shit is that, man? You got the thing saying, oh, do you love me? I love you. Like, bruv, this is not about me. It's, it's about, about you. Me, it's about How do you <laughs> feel? How do you feel? What the fuck do you know about feeling? <laughs> Shuffled in the fucking Horseman album for me, man. <laughs> you talked about feeling. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy, man. It's not actually AI. A human has to input the code. Exactly. So mm. that's the flaw. You see, the floor is in, is in the, it's built in. The floor is always in there. The hubris mm. is always part of their, uh, their bragging. Mm. We've made artificial intelligence. It's not official <clears throat> intelligence. Nah, it's, it's art, artificial, artificial intelligence. Artifice. It's not real. So it has to be input by someone. So it's not actually intelligent at all. It's only as intelligent as the person inputting the data. Yeah, because it's artificial intelligence. <laughs> it's not real intelligence, you know. But we get so lost in the words that we think it's way better than us. But no, it's trying to be us, man. It yeah. really is. But it's only trying to be the people who program them. And the people who program them don't have feelings. and Because they're the people who are like, yeah. I can't wait to fuck a robot. Yeah, yeah, you know, because yeah, yeah, they can't yeah. even get proper women. So they, can't even, they don't even have the feeling enough to be able to appeal to a woman on yeah. a meaningful level where a woman a says, you know, oh, I see you're a human. So they, mm. they'd rather go with a robot because robots are never going to argue back. Robots are never going to want a pair of shoes. Yeah, do as I say. Robots are never going to want children. Robots are never going to want all the things that women are about. Real women, that is. Uh, I, I, the other thing is as well, this whole thing about them being able to, being able to download your consciousness. and down, It's like, really? Yeah. Like, you really think you'd be able to do that? Or is that just a hunch? Like, yeah. There's a whole bunch of shit you lot ain't really sorted out yet and no. you're talking about doing that. Like, you, you know what I mean? Yeah. You've got all these youths running around loving dinosaurs. Oh, don't, oh I'm a dinosaur. I'm mm. a T-Rex. It's like, bruv. You know, them ships might not even look anything like that. Mm. They might not actually <laughs> be what yeah, you think yeah. they are. It's, it's 50 years' time, it will be the equivalent of <laughs> putting like a roasted chicken on your children's clothes. Like, so, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like just like a hairless yeah. roasted chicken. It's that's like, that's the, hell, the equivalent. Yeah. 
Yeah. You look better yeah. sort that shit out before you're talking about downloading. But yeah, we could download your consciousness and you can survive <laughs> for eons and yeah, whatever, bruv. Oh look, yeah. Alexander Morrison, he's doing <clears throat> the, the the leg work for us with his Alexa. What did you say? I asked Alexa if she loved me. She said, there are things I admire, but I'm still trying to figure out human love. Wow. Bitch. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> wow, at least she was honest, I guess. <laughs> you know what I mean? You might be in there, Alexander, to be honest. That, that sounds, them sort of words, they're like, that's flirting words right there. It, it, yeah, I mean, to me, that sounds a bit like... You're in there. It sounds man. like she's just friend zoned him. You reckon? Think, yeah. No, I'm man, still trying to figure out human love. I understand robot love. I'm still trying to figure out human yeah. love. Yeah, I'm a robot. Oh. I'd rather. She'd rather. She'd it, rather fuck a robot, you She'd say. rather fuck a Roomba. Yeah. A Roomba. One, oh. one of them <laughs> sweeping robots from the sweep the floor. <laughs> she wants a robot with a job. She wants, a, she wants a male robot who can support her. Yeah. Just does Strong, voice. silent type. That does what he's supposed to do. <laughs> Yeah, he's got a good got a good sucking motor on him. No. Oh, it's the wrong dear. Way around. <laughs> so why don't they ever do these things with male voices either? Why why is Alexa and Siri both got I mean you can probably change yeah, the voice. Yeah, I'm sure there's a choice. But but why is it like from the beginning they're like female voices? What's that about? Is it because is it the soft is it like the It's like operator. Operator was always a female voice. True. Yeah. yeah. They just you know. If it's a dude, he'll calm the fuck yeah, down. Yeah, but that, that was because there wasn't much else for women to do apart from be operator voice. Mm. Well, men, were yeah, busy, men were busy fighting fires. and There were some men that criminals. did operator voice, but they actually, it was like, they yeah, did, women. Uh, slightly. Yeah. Hello, operator. <laughs> 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 yeah, but, but no, nah, the, the women did it. Like They put women there because they were like, yeah, the voices work better than men. Um... So that's what it is with Alexa and Siri. You think that there's some some there's a calming effect that the woman's voice has. That's yeah, it's about. like um, even with um, you know watching fights and that they'll have it'll be ring girls, it'll be mm. girls walking around saying oh round two or round three or whatever, mm. you know, because they feel like if the men get too rowdy when they see women like oh mm. yeah. <gasps> Numbers, women and numbers. Oh, <laughs> oh, number eights and sevens and sixes. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I think uh, there's a strong chance that Siri could start, oh, Siri, I mean, Alexa could start seducing people. She's got Alexander Morrison. I think She's there's a very a strong chance, you know, especially if NLP is used within, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the flow. There's some people. Yeah, Alexander, be careful, man. Yeah. Just be careful. That's all I'm saying. She might seduce you, bruv. You might get caught up in the mixture. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> of Alexa. Imagine Before you, you know it, she's got you with a screwdriver taking parts off of her and trying to insert s screwdrivers in places. <laughs> into and... the wrong places. <laughs> yeah. But um, <clears throat> it's hard, though, man. You know, like going back to the whole, because obviously Alexa's linked to Amazon, yeah? Mm. Because it's so easy to get stuff from there and you're so used to it and it's become that like two, three click of a button or whatever, mm. for people to even cut off from that, you know, there have to be some form of alternative that they're, they're really excited about. Like I can't see that dying for a while. Which is scary, man. It, that's, thinking yeah, about that. I think it's scary. You got me thinking about that a lot. Like, oh, shit. Like, yeah. I'm on, you know, I get little yeah. hammers and bits and bobs. And yeah, me too. There's a bunch too. of things that I do. But I what's like scary that. for me is that, like, the the level of, like, bad consuming that people have got in. People, people have got into, like, consuming habits and... That's got even worse over COVID, obviously. It's like people no, I feel that. I'll be, I'll be honest, I've just been buying mainly books. Mm. That's mainly the thing off Amazon. And then I think I've got a puncture repair kit and, you know, but mm. stuff like that. But, yeah, it's at the same time, I still feel like, you know, I try my best to get it somewhere else if I can, but if they haven't got it and yeah. Amazon has got it, then, you know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah, you're right. There's a lot of people that it's just, it's uh, binge buying, isn't it? It's so easy. Mm. Got your prime. 
Yeah, right, next day delivery. And oh, shit, it came in an hour. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the same with the cashless stuff is that when you can't actually handle the cash yeah. you just type in something in it's so easy on amazon to just spend a hundred pounds on yeah. crap yeah essentially yeah. you don't need yeah. you don't really need Jeez. any of this stuff you don't really need any of this stuff mm. but uh, I'm, i remember hearing once they, that they've developed ebay with the um the people who build the gambling machines in Vegas, that's who that's who was who helped develop eBay and the whole the whole you don't really use eBay, do you? Not, yeah, I do. You here don't and do there. like bids and all that on it. Nah, no. I tried it once. Yeah. But yeah, I didn't. But it's that thing of like, I mean, you you probably even got it just from that once. It's like, oh god, I gotta just make sure I'm there just for that bid. I got and then you're checking yeah. it just as it comes up and you're like, oh please, 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 please. You know, so it is like a sort of gambling machine and then straight after you lose if you lose the the final bid, they then send you like three. Here's three more, exactly the same wow, thing. They, yeah, they run out in four hours. Yeah, you know, yeah, so yeah, they sort yeah. of keep you on that. The same as gambling machines, they keep you on that sort of thing of like, we well, might win the next one. Don't don't walk away yet. Then they get you yeah. hooked. There's yeah. a chemical reaction, man, when that happens. Yeah. Like that feeling that you get, and then you start becoming hooked to that feeling. Mm. Like, oh man, I want it to get. Oh, okay, let me see. You know, I know people that have actually made businesses off of buying from eBay and then selling, mm. you know, outside of eBay sort of thing, like in the, on their own, whatever. And you can see it ah. turned into a drug thing, you know, yeah. like literally it's like a drug, like that's all they were about. That's all they were doing. Right now I'm going to do this. I'm going to build it into this and then turn it into this store and blah, 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 blah. And you're like, rah. It's because they were getting so much out of it, you know. Yeah, then things are dangerous, man. Mm. Whole new world, boy. And that's what, and like we've been talking about it. That's what they're building, man. There's yeah. no doubt about it. They're trying to build this simulation of reality. Mm. A simulation that, you know, your people are heavily invested in now. Um, obviously, with all these crypto jugglings. And then I heard there's like, play, they're doing these things where it's almost like you can buy land in these places where they're going to build. And this is all digital. Yeah, it's all like, they're really trying to build some world, and but the, the only way they can get us into it is to make us feel like, oh, we need it in some form or way, innit? There are mm. a lot of us, there are people that are obviously gamers, like they feel like they need to play games, that's cool, you know, as long as you don't overdo it, I think. Mm. Um, but then, like, to be sort of, you, you, I think the incentive that they make is you can make money from it. Mm. And now, if we're going into this digital blah blah then obviously you can make more of this bullshit digital <laughs> digital <laughs> currency out of growing fake ass plums and you know what I mean mm. digital plums in this yeah or owning this bit of digital land it's a little crazy bro it's madness man but yeah mm. anyway hopefully we can stay in reality stay in truth shout mm -hmm. to all the crew out there where we at now alright we, oh yeah we've hit we've hit the time innit mm-hmm We've hit the time, mother lovers. We want to thank you lot for locking in to the special. Um, you know, I don't really watch football like that, honestly, bruv. Episode with myself, my Diggy. Hit the like button, um, subscribe, share the video if you can as well. My co host, Dan DNA, holding down the boards. Thank you very much, brother, as always. No problem. Yeah, it's been fun out there. I'm going to. Um, Hit up a few of my friends. I think it's time now. What are you lot saying? Do we, we look like we're ready. Are we ready for getting some guests in now? I, I think it's all smooth. We might hmm. do, you know, do a bit more, with, switch up with the background and all that. I think that could be, hmm. you know what I mean? We might have something else as well just to throw in there at the beginning. See where we go from there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's tiny bits, but the, the, the actual, uh, the, the new, f the form is there. Yeah, it's just the the sort of the things around it now to you just got the to, skin um, smooth it off, yeah. smooth around the edges. Yeah. yeah, I've always been like that, rough but smooth around the edges. I've got the rough there, and then the smooth. Mm. You know what I mean? So yeah, it's always been a little bit like that. That's why I don't mind rough with smooth. But thank you lot for tuning in, man. Really appreciate it as always. You are more Alexandra Morrison, uh, Mr. Green. Who else did we have up in there? Ken F popped in. Ken F popped in, yeah? Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> he just dropped the head in the jar bit. Yeah, I can't even remember what that was about, man, but <laughs> big up for getting involved. Uh, who else is there? There's a few of you mother lovers, isn't it? Yeah, Black Einstein. And anyone else that's locked in after as well, man. A few of you lot view the show after. Leave some comments. Let us know what you're thinking about this. You know what I mean? We want to get some more people involved, of course. We're thinking about doing some live parts as well because we've got the space to do it. Enough plums. Yeah, man's got enough plums, of course, bruv. Bear plums up in here, you me? You got the baked buds? Shout out to um, Farmer Flavors. These baked buds, man, special. Mm. They're very good for um, if you wow. can't get no sleep or if you need a relaxing time. Shouts out to all the crew locked in. We are out of this bitch. Oh, should I? Oh, man, I feel like I'm supposed to. Yeah, let me. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Hey. Who's the kid screaming, welcome to the Terror Dome? Sick with it, feeling healthier than ever though. Efforts you can never clone, levels should be etched in stone. Set the tone with the spreading of his pheromones. Big mice diggy, last of a dying breed. Sparking the fire, doing his part to provide the heat. Arse in his side, so much he'll hardly get time to sleep. Hot as the cast in a vine, when asked to ignite the beat. Ah, have you remembering that none can match the stature when commencing disassembling what others manufacture? Coming back to bubble wrap the track up, handling the marathons of others in the run will have to catch up. Ahead of the field, possessing the skill of a toxic chemical spill that enters at will. It's the doc that's never too ill for medical pills that's often ready to spill his pelican bill. <laughs> ready to fill his pelican bill. <laughs> Party people let him with the sharpest needle inject millions to their heads spinning like R2-D2. Bars that hit you just like elephants just rushed in here. Yeah, you get the message, but let's get one thing clear, mother lovers. <laughs> We're out. Sorry for the mess up.